while visiting Kyoto's well-preserved traditional villages, bamboo forests, and many shrines and temples, I made it a point to go on a different kind of side trip, a food trip that is, and feast my taste buds on the delectable street food of Japan's cultural capital. My first stop is the popular food market right outside the Fushimi Inari Shrine, which you probably know from the countless red tori gates that line the mountain. First on our list is dango, made from sweet glutinous rice flour and water, shaped into balls, skewered on a stick, then coated with syrup made from soy sauce, sugar and mirin. We first got curious about this street food after seeing it on the Japanese reality show Old Enough during the pandemic. Just coming off the grill, this dango is warm and chewy. The soy sauce in the glaze overpowers the sugar, making this more on the savory and salty side. Dangos, however, also come in different flavors, some with sweetened red bean or sesame paste. Now, for my verdict. Is it a pop or flop? No. The closest I could compare this to is our own sumen which I'm used to pairing with sugar. And so putting soy sauce in the mix didn't sit well with me. Next up is my favorite, yakitori or skewered grilled chicken. Yakitori is usually seasoned with either salt or tare sauce, which is made from soy sauce, sugar, mirin, and sake. And for my verdict, Up next, skewered wagyu steak. Ung sarup was the first thing I exclaimed just after the first bite of this well-loved beef. This one has just the right amount of seasoning giving an incredible taste to this Wagyu, which is world-renowned for its fine marbling, making it juicier. The following day, we headed over to Arashiyama, home of the famous bamboo garden, to taste even more food. This one here is a specialty in Arashiyama called Namafu Cheese Cutlet. Made from cheese covered in batter then deep fried, this cutlet has a sweet taste with a slight kick of saltiness. The balance of the two flavors makes this crunchy snack impeccably mouth-watering. I want to take some of this back to the Philippines. This one here is spicy karage or deep-fried chicken thighs. The red chili pepper on this karage makes this crunchy street food perfect for this cold and rainy weather. And finally, after an entire day of having all these savory fare, it's time to balance things with some dessert. So, hello universe, we're here in Kyoto and we are at the cafe near the Kyobizuera Temple. So, we ordered a uh, So, it's a uh, Japanese confection. And we have two flavors, some best sellers, which are the red. And since this filling is made of red bean paste or anko, this easily reminded me of our hopia but sandwiched in pancakes. This is a perfect palate cleanser. And if this confection looks familiar, that's because this is the favorite food of Doremon. To fully satisfy my sweet tooth, I paired my dorayaki with a cup of hot chocolate. I couldn't be happier ending my food trip on a sweet note. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.